we're starting up. My name is Andrew Thompson. I'm the editor of Tech Faster, joined by Ryan Jones, our CEO. Hello. Today we're sitting down with Visha Benoliel. Uh, probably butcher your last name, but uh, he's the CEO of Open Garden. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Ryan. Hello. Thank you yeah. for, for joining us. We appreciate it. Can you tell us a little bit about um, Open Garden, the project you're working on? Sure. Um, so Open Garden um, is a project we started in uh, San Francisco two years ago. And uh, the vision behind Open Garden is uh, to um, recreate a network made of people and devices. And um, I'm going to explain that uh, a bit further, um, I guess, with the questions you're going to ask me. But uh, basically, w what happened? is we figured out that the density of smartphone tablets and laptops was was becoming so important and so huge that there would there would be an opportunity to uh, recreate a network by just interconnecting directly all of these devices together and we believe that uh, that network uh, one day could not only improve the the access to the internet for everyone and that's what we are starting to do today but also why not become like an alternative network also because it's a it's a peer to peer mesh network and uh, the more devices are in the network, then the better the connectivity is. And uh, I mean, as you all know uh, today, when we all have a laptop, uh, a smartphone, and uh, very often a tablet also. Uh, and uh, we are surrounded by people with all these devices all the time. So that's the vision behind Open Garden. And uh, we started uh, with a very uh, simple project just to validate the idea and the vision. Um, so we did uh, what we, we call uh, in Silicon Valley, a minimal uh, viable product, uh, which was a, a basic tethering application um, that was enabling you to share your, your the Wi-Fi of your mobile phone with your other devices. And uh, but when we did that project, it was very pretty much to test the market because it required users to be very techy to use the application. They had to uh, root their phone, which is the equivalent of jailbreaking an iPhone, uh, to be able to have the application working. And um, despite of this, uh, I mean, we had like 50% of all the users actually becoming administrator on their phone. Uh, so it was quite impressive. We, we still have more than a million users on this application, and it was a perfect way to validate that market. Uh, the need for mobile data and improving connectivity uh, in mobility situations. Good. Great, great. Uh, what's, been the biggest well, what's been the biggest technical challenge of uh, the whole project? So, um, so that was the, the minimal viable product. O obviously, it was just a test to verify the need for mobile bandwidth, mobile data. Uh, the big challenge with the new application we launched last year uh, during TechCrunch in New York for TechCrunch Disrupt. That was in um, end of May uh, 2012. Um, first, uh, we wanted an application that didn't require a user to be administrator or to jailbreak their phone because we want uh, OpenGannon to be a uh, a product for, 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 for the masses, for the consumers, and basically we wanted OpenGAN to be very, very easy to install. So that was a big challenge, because when it comes to connectivity, uh, then you have to find ways to uh, enable the sharing of the mobile data from your carrier with other devices um, seamlessly without having the, to do any complicated thing or ask the user to do anything complicated to make it work. Mm -hmm. So that was really the big, the, 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 a big challenge for us. So we explored different ways. Are we going to use uh, Wi-Fi in ad hoc mode? Are we going to use Wi-Fi direct? Uh, or are we going to use Bluetooth? Or are we going to use uh, and wait the latest version of evolution of Wi-Fi, which will uh, implement mesh features? So we, we ask ourselves all of these questions. Um, so that was really uh, one of the first big challenge we had to solve when to, to build that application. The other big challenge um, was because it's a dynamic network. And you, we don't want users to have to actually accept the connectivity with another user or to ask to connect to another user. So we wanted the network to be formed completely dynamically and seamlessly in the background without any user intervention. So, um, so that was the second big challenge. Um, other challenges which, which were not um, that important at the beginning but are also very important is how do you share connectivity without affecting Pretty, uh, I mean, your battery because I mean, you are on mobile phones m most of the time, and that's important to have a, a solution that doesn't affect the battery life. Um, and uh, so all these challenges. So uh, you know, there was, and uh, 
they are not they are, they are not little challenges. Mm. Good deal. Well, um, in, in doing my, my homework in preparation for our discussion here, I um, came across a reference to your partnership with TextMe. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. So, um, TextMe uh, is a very interesting partnership. It's the first one we, we do of, um, uh, with, with another startup and specifically with, a, with another communication app. Uh, and um, so the way it works is uh, I mean, we, we had discussed that with TextMe for a while, and um, what happens is when you have a tablet, and more specifically an Android tablet, most of the Android tablets uh, only have Wi-Fi. They don't have any uh, 3G or 4G interface. Mm -hmm. But when you want to use a communication software, so not, it's not completely different than playing a game on a, on a tablet. I mean, you need to really have an access uh, to the Internet to be able to use a communication software. So... Um, we both thought it was, I mean, for both for both businesses, an opportunity to to partner and to uh, to enable people who are installing TextMe on their on their tablet to be also able to be doing text chat uh, and uh, voice calls and video conferencing, even if they didn't have a Wi-Fi access. And um, what happens is, uh, so when users install TextMe on their tablet, if Open Garden is not already installed, then the user would be prompted and asked to install Open Garden. And uh, at that point, if the user um, has another device like an Android phone, uh, and very often people who have Android tablets happen to have uh, Android phones, or if, the, if they are kids, maybe their parents have an Android phone, um, then um, the tablet will automatically, uh, when it cannot reach the Wi-Fi, connect to the, to, the, to the connectivity of the phone and enable the user to keep on doing uh, its chat uh, using TextMe or place a call or do a video conferencing. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a win-win partnership and uh, no, we are very happy we did that partnership and it's, uh, uh, I mean, it's showing also how the, we can also in bring a lot to uh, applications, and mob and mobile applications specifically in the field of communications and how we can in the future help developer benefit from the Open Garden uh, uh, ecosystem. So, uh, and it's all, uh, really the beginning, so it's uh, but it's a, it's a good experience for us. I think it's a good experience also for TextMe, and uh, and uh, we uh, we are already thinking of how we can now improve uh, and make the experience even much better for these people who will be partnering with us. Good, good deal. Great, great. Uh, a lot of things that I was reading about Open Garden preparing for this uh, spoke to the scale and scaling, and I was just wondering, like, say you guys reach 50 million users, what? What is truly possible with Open Garden? Okay, it's a very good question. Um, so I usually I try to avoid these questions because uh, it's uh, very. Uh, uh, I mean, it's very. Uh, well, maybe yeah, just touch on, uh, touch on how the. No, no, no. But I don't want to avoid it with with you. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a, an an answer. What okay. I mean, <laughs> what, what, what I mean is, in theory. Um, if you take a city with a, a good density of population, uh, and that's just in theory, uh, but let's say we achieve a penetration ratio of like 25% of the smartphone users, in theory, still, uh, that would mean that uh, basically we would be able to link, uh, I mean, to re really recreate a network in that in in that in that city and. Uh, uh, be able to hop onto uh, a Wi-Fi access uh, pretty much all the time. Uh, so that's what it means uh, in theory. Still, uh, now 25% penetration ratio is high, and it's not because if you look at uh, um, games, for example, like uh, Angry Birds, I mean their penetration ratio is just uh, it's huge. It's like 60% of the population. Uh, so we we believe it's not unachievable. Uh, but obviously, uh, it requires a lot of installers, installations. Uh, we are we want to go in that direction, but till we reach that kind of density, uh, then we cannot tell uh, how everything is going to behave, or uh, if we, we will really be able to offload all the time the data to the to Wi-Fi. Uh, so, but we are going to create more and more also uh, tests with the density, especially with the the new version we are going to release in the coming weeks, 
which uh, implements very interesting features uh, like channel bonding and uh, multi hop. Great, great. Well, we really appreciate your time, Misha. Is there anything that you would like to leave us with in closing that uh, that's going on with Open Guard that you'd like to share with TechFaster? Um, first, uh, it's always nice. I mean, to share our technology and to talk about what we do. Uh, uh, we are always very excited, and we want more and more people to adopt this software and to be part of the Open Garden Network. Um, it's, it's really disruptive. It's, cha it's a challenge, and uh, and uh, I think we, I mean, we can really uh, build a strong network made of people and devices that can really disrupt this whole uh, mobile industry, and that's what we are looking after. Great, great. Well, thank you very much, Misha, for joining us. It's Misha with Open Garden, um, building incredible things. And uh, thank you for joining us, and um, we'll be in touch soon. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Andrew. Thank, thank you. you. Hi, I just uh, want to quickly show you how you can benefit of Open Garden when you have uh, an Android phone and a tablet or a laptop. This is a Nexus 7, and this is uh, a Galaxy S3. So this tablet now doesn't have any uh, connectivity to the Wi-Fi network in this office, but it is connected to uh, the Galaxy S3, uh, which has connectivity. And as you can see, I can keep on using the tablet as if I was connected. So this is a CNN website here. I'm going to load another page. Another image. And basically, if I look on this device, which is providing the network to uh, this tablet, I can see the bytes counting, showing uh, how many bytes this tablet has been using from that smartphone. So that's open Yadon. Just install it on all your devices, and when they are in proximity, they start uh, to form dynamically and seamlessly a mesh network. And if one device within the network requires connectivity and doesn't have a direct link, it will use the connectivity of another device within the network.